Why not fight tax evasion instead of increasing taxes like the VAT and other taxes they are ready to hike? Tax evasion has to be fought. We fully agree. It's a terrible burden on those good citizens who are responsible enough to pay their taxes. It's also true, though, that international experience shows it takes time to get the revenue from fighting tax evasion. And Spain needs more revenue and it needs it much more quickly. That's why raising VAT is probably a good thing to do. And don't forget, Spain is fairly lightly taxed compared to some other countries in Europe. How can you cut down unemployment quickly? Unemployment is terribly, terribly high in Spain, 25%. It's unacceptable and needs to come down as quickly as possible. It's still also true that these things usually take time and great efforts are needed, not just in the labor market, but throughout the economy. It would help if firms, when they're under pressure, could change their working conditions, including wages, instead of having to sack people. Will the labor reform reduce unemployment or is it just going to create more precarious and temporary jobs like those mini-jobs in Germany? Labor market reform will reduce unemployment, but it takes time. The comparison to Germany is interesting because Spain already has one of the least well-functioning labor markets in the world. It has lots of people on temporary contracts and comparing to Germany. In Germany, unemployment has fallen since the crisis. Unemployment is around 5% now. Spain has a lot to learn from countries like Germany. Wouldn't it be better to do what Iceland did and just let the banks fail? When banks make mistakes, they should pay for them. Absolutely. Don't forget, though, that Iceland was in a very different situation to Spain. It was, for example, outside the European Union, and Spain's in a different situation. And we also need to be aware that banks are like the heart of the economy and if too many of them fail and the heart stops beating, the whole economy suffers. If this crisis is financial in nature, why cut social spending like health or education, for example? Does one thing have to do with the other? Definitely this crisis is partly about the financial sector and that needs to be fixed. But this problem went well beyond the financial sector. The whole of Spain was living beyond its means for a decade. And that has to stop. And that's why the government has to look very carefully at all its spending and all its revenue to see if it can find savings. And obviously it needs to be very sensitive to the social issues in Spain, but difficult decisions will, will need to be made.